Hey everyone and welcome back to Fresh and Healthy YouTube. So before we start anything, but I'm excited for this intuitive eating series, I just need to cover a few things that were brought up in the comments in my last video. Anything with a short-term fix or something that is instant um, medicine for a problem, you could say, is probably not going to offer long-term results. Now intuitive eating, you can be thankful because it does offer long-term results, but the thing is, is that it's not a quick fix. It's not going to happen overnight. Um, as you start applying these principles that I'm going to walk you guys through, it's not going to be oh, a light switch goes on and now I can intuitively eat, now I will never binge eat again, now I will never restrict again, now I will never count calories again. It's not like that. Unfortunately, guys, I hate to break it to you, but it's a long process. For me, as I started working through these intuitive eating habits myself, it took a while. Um, it took a long while. And there were still days where I restricted food. There were still days where I didn't give myself enough food during the day, so then I would binge at night. Um, it's not a perfect process. It's not going to be a perfect journey. It never will. Um, so I just want to make that clear because I don't ever want to portray this picture to you guys that it's easy and then once you do it, you're free and you're never going to have a problem again. And it's um, a quick solution to all of your problems, trouble-free life, that's not how it is. So just want to get that clear out there because I know there are some comments below um, in my last video and I just wanted to clear that up for you guys. So now I'm excited because we are going to get to the 10 principles of intuitive eating, guys. And I'm so excited for this. I'm going to walk you through. They're all in the intuitive eating book but I'm going to just go principle by principle and talk about how I apply that to myself and how that kind of worked into my life. And yeah, and hopefully there will be comments below. So first things first, guys, principle number one, reject the diet mentality. This is key if you're going to intuitively eat because if you try to be on the fence, if you try to kind of apply intuitive eating, kind of still diet, kind of still watch your like calories, kind of still restrict, it's not gonna work. Um, it's an all or nothing thing. You've really gotta get rid of all that diet mentality, all those food rules you've kept for so long, all of those fears of eating certain foods, everything, it's gotta go out the door if you're gonna listen to your body because if you don't listen to your body all the time, then it's just gonna confuse your signals for the other time that you're trying to listen to it. Um, like say you try to restrict during the day, but then you try to intuitively eat at night, you're not gonna be able to do that because your body is gonna be like, I haven't had enough food yet today, so I'm gonna just start binging on all this and I can't listen to my hungry signals. So that is that, guys. We are gonna go more into depth on that, but for right now, that is that. Number two is honoring your hunger kind of self-explanatory, but of course we're gonna go into depth with all of these principles, so I don't wanna to talk too much about any of them. Number three is making peace with food. This is a fun one, can't wait to talk about that one. Number four is challenging the food police. That's another one where we're gonna start challenging a lot of those long-held beliefs and fears. Number five is respecting your fullness as well as your hunger. So this kind of is where binging comes into play, and really just learning how to respect your fullness, knowing when you're full, yeah. <laughs> Number six is discovering the satisfaction factor. That is a good one. I will talk about how that plays into my life, but that is number six. Number seven is honoring your emotions without food. So we've all had those times where we take a carton of ice cream to our room because we're upset, or you know, you're know you stressed, or even you're happy. And so you turn to food. Um, so just honoring your emotions without food. Because a lot of times we eat not because of hunger, but because of emotion. Number eight is respecting your body. This goes back to my very first video, my last video. Um, of Everyone has a set point. Everybody 
has a different body type and you have to respect that you're gonna intuitively eat. You have to be okay with the genetics you've been given and that's hard sometimes. It's really hard to accept. So this is a principle that we're gonna have to work hard on. Number nine is exercising to feel the difference instead of for burning a certain amount of calories or because you ate a lot last night so you need to exercise or anything like that. It's more of exercising because I know it makes me feel good. So that is number nine. And number 10 is just honoring your health. So guys, I cannot wait to share all these principles and how they apply to my life and how we can work through these together. I hope this video series helps you guys. Of course, if there's any specific questions, comment below and I will try to answer them before going into any individual principle in the coming videos. And yeah, so that is that. And if you have been following me on Snapchat or Instagram, you know that I'm shooting this video right now in Atlanta, Georgia, because I am here visiting friends and shadowing a dietitian here. And so I am here at a coffee shop on the Chattahoochee River, and how pretty is this, guys? Like, perfect video, right? So this is fun. If you're not following me on Snapchat, Sarah underscore Grace 11, and then Instagram, Fresh Fit and Healthy. So follow me on all of those. Follow me on YouTube and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And until next time, love you guys and all of your support. Click the thumbs up if you like this video. Bye.